smart home technology. It used to be something for the ultra rich. Bill Gates put something in one of his many mansions back in the mid 80s that you type in your own personal code and it could change pictures on the wall. It was just crazy. Temperatures, everything would change with the guest as they move through the house. Really cool stuff. Flash forward to today, and a lot of the new homes being built are smart homes. As they're being constructed, they're wiring them for that to have full automation, which is really cool. Then you have things like the Echo from Amazon with Alexa and Google Assistant and Google Home, which now has its own hub, although you don't need it, kind of ties everything together and gives you one place to control all of these wonderful smart things, even with a simple voice command. Okay, Google, turn off all the lights. Looks a lot different without all the lights on. Turn on all the lights. Sure, turning on seven lights. Change the top shelf color to blue. Okay. Change the bottom shelf color to blue. You got it. Changing the bottom shelf to blue. So if your home isn't already equipped with smart technology like ours isn't, there's a few companies out there that are providing affordable, innovative ways to help your home turn into a smart home. That's where our friends at eTech City come in. Link below to their website and their Amazon store. Just crazy stuff like a, a five foot and a 10 foot extension cord that you build by the foot to really make it customizable instead of having all the cords wrapped around the house. They make digital scales, luggage scales, multimeters, distance meters. But what I'm most interested in is their smart home technology. They make a number of products from a small outlet that you plug in that you then control and you can control that with either Alexa or Google Assistant. And they also make an actual wall switch that will replace a switch on a wall. So we have our cases from Ikea and the lights are from Ikea and they don't make remotes for those. So you could obviously go out and find some kind of third party remote, but all of it's hidden. It's gonna to have to be Wi-Fi. They were kind enough to send us a few samples to give us a chance to review their product and see what's gonna work best for us, especially to solve that problem. I believe that they sent us one of their smart outlets and a wall plate. Let's see what we got here. Ah, yes. So their Volston smart Wi-Fi outlet. I like this one. It has a little night light on it, which I think is cool. And their smart Wi-Fi light switch. All right, so we're gonna do the outlet first because this one's obviously gonna be the easiest one. Doesn't involve me having to put on my electrician's hat. And I think this is gonna solve the problem I have for the cases. I'll do a separate video for the wall switch. We're still on the fence which of our wall outlets that we're gonna change for this. So be on the lookout for that. So this is cool, I like it. You've got a lot of product detailed information right on the box. Yeah, so it's got to be 98 to 164 feet from the router. Compatibility, Android or iOS. Maximum power is 1800 watts. Input 120 volts or 60. Now my understanding is this has to be on a 2.4 gigahertz frequency band. Now we have a router that's tri-band. We have two different 5G bands and a 2.4. All of our other LED light strips were all set up on a 2.4 as well. Seems to be kind of a common thing. All right, so we've got our outlet here, and I like the fact it's got QR codes on the back, so you can scan it in case you don't have instruction manuals or you take this with you someplace. Uh, from what I've seen, the setup on this is super easy. It's plug and play. There's a pairing mode and, and you're good to go. Quick start guide. So here it's just telling you to scan whether you've got Apple or Android and download the Verisync app for your phone. We've already installed the Verisync app. So my thought is to plug this into the wall, plug my power strip in down there that I have the four LED lighting set up on it, leave the toggles in the on position, and then of course, turn the power strip on and off with this. I'm not planning on running anything else that's got any kind of high power or anything like that because I know that that could be a problem. So we've gone ahead and already set up an account. So what it's saying to do is to plug this in, add your first device. 
Wow, you can do scale switches or Wi-Fi outlet. Oh, this is cool. And it has the different, the three different options they have, including one for Europe. So we're going to select this. Plug your smart device into the wall outlet, which we have already done. Press and hold the power button for 10 seconds. Okay, until the light starts to blink rapidly. Okay, it's blinking rapidly. And then we need to sign into our network. Connection successful, outstanding. Give your device a name. All right, so now it shows up in our list. I'm now able to turn it on and turn it off. That's cool. And this is what I love about this. You can monitor the electric usage. You can set up a schedule for this to turn on and off at certain times. You can set it just on a timer uh, to have it on just for a specific amount of time, whether you're home or not. There's an away option with this, which I think is really cool, where you can have things turn on and off periodically over the course of time. So it gives the appearance that you're home. I'm told that you can access this from anywhere in the world as long as you're on Wi-Fi. Now what we want to do is we want to pair this with Google Assistant. Oh, that's fantastic. I had already queued up the VeriSync control the other day. I was playing around with this, so it's already shown up in my Google Home. This is fantastic. So you've gone into Google Home and and added it in, which I've already done, so it's right there. It's it's already showing up right now. Initial thoughts on the outlet, I really like it. It paired up very, very easy. Okay, Google, turn case light off. Turn case lights on. I am very happy with this so far. But now for the final test, I got it to integrate into Google Home perfectly. I have to see if it's actually gonna do what I think it's gonna do. So I'll be back in a minute as I dig out these Funko Pops and get in there and attach this to that power strip and see if I can get it to do what I think it's supposed to do. So final thoughts on the Volston Smart Wi-Fi outlet with Nightlight. I love it, it's really cool. Integration into our existing uh, smart system that we had set up was super easy. Okay, Google, turn IKEA off. Sure, turning off the IKEA. Okay, Google, turn IKEA on. You got it, turning on the IKEA. Once again, there's links below for eTech City's website and their Amazon store. They do have other things that are beyond smart technology, like I had mentioned with the build your own extension cord, which I thought was cool. They have some camping gear, which was cool with like a LED lights and some fire starters, crimping tools. They, they've got some really neat things on their website. So be sure to check out the stuff beyond smart technology. I do like the fact that it's not hub based because some of these systems you have to have a hub which sits someplace else, and then these all attach to the hub. This is great because I've moved it into three different outlets so far, and within seconds of plugging it in, it went through in a quick initiation and immediately rejoined the Google Home system, so I thought that was great. Once again, we want to thank our friends at eTech City for providing us with these really cool smart home devices that we can test out here in the studio. So on that note, we want to thank everybody for taking the time to watch. Please like, subscribe, comment below, and share with your friends. And as Kendra always says, until next time, stay weird.